So we saw last video that we uh, reassembled the home motor. Everything is completely put back together, um, but we do have um, some missing products here. You guys can tell the intake manifold is a little bit bare. So we uh, don't have a fuel rail. We don't have injectors, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do injectors and fuel rail. I'll show you guys in uh, just a few minutes what fuel rail we went with and what injectors we went with as well. But for now, we're going to be working on the on the intake manifold. Like I said, um, we got these studs here that we got to pull out. Um, I already got this one kind of started, but this uh, bolt here was rounding out our nut. So um, I took it off and I'm trying to get this one uh, a little bit like loose. So that way maybe I could bring in some pliers or something and get this thing re completely removed. And this one as well. I just don't want to round out the bolts and not have any other uh, or nuts, sorry, and not have any other nuts to uh, remove or loosen up the uh, stud with. So I'm going to get this figured out because uh, we want to down start everything and that's what it's going to take. So I'm going to figure this thing out. Hopefully I can film it and uh, hopefully I don't round anything out or mess anything up. But um, let's get let's get it underway, guys. While we're uh, removing studs right now, I'm going to take the time and do the uh, intake manifold ones as well because we do have um, new hardware for the in or for the uh, throttle body as well. Let's try to do this real quick without um, messing anything up and hopefully these come out easier than uh, these because these were super, super hard and super, super stubborn, stubborn and I still cannot get them out. So... Um, Hopefully, oh yeah, these are like 10 times easier. Let's see if I can't get it out like this. Yep. So there it is, guys. You see that there? Just like so. That removes the stud. And now you can uh, replace it with bolts and beauty hardware from Downstar. So, all right, so I started working on this one. I gave it a little bit of love. Um, what I did was I just kind of like brought it back in. I, I uh, rotated the screw back in or the uh, stud back in. Um, and then just played with it, wiggled it back and forth, kept uh, loosening, tightening, loosening, tightening. And now, um, so like, just like this, loosening, tightening, loosening, tightening. And that way, it could love me back. And uh, yeah, we're finally almost all the way out. Just like so, guys. So, there it is. Sauce. Crisscross applesauce. We're done. There it is. So now we just got one more to deal with and we should be good to go. Ooh, we guys able to get that stud out finally. Um, well, not finally because I didn't really work on it too long, but I finally got it out. So I'm super excited. I thought I was going to mess something up. Didn't. Um, it was kind of stubborn a little bit. So what I did was spit on it a little bit. She got loose and we got her out. Now we just got to clean up the surfaces and we will be able to show you guys what injectors we went with what fuel row but before i do so before i open up those products um well one is already open the other one is not before i do so though i want you guys to go in the comments down below what fuel row do you guys think we went with you guys think we went with hybrid racing or you guys think i went with k-tune um i'm doing a little bit of mix of both products here i'm trying to get a motherfucking sponsorship yeah. i've been up in here trying to get a motherfucking scholarship but nah but for real no K2, Hyper Racing, hit me up. Um, that way I could only do one product here, you know? <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, we're gonna do this real quick. And then I will be able to show you guys what fuel rail we went with. But before I do so, like I said, comment down below and uh, hit the like button if you guys like this video so far. Yes, sir. That is what we went with for uh, the choice of injectors. We went with the 550cc from RC Injectors. I got a good deal on them, could not pass it up. And uh, just said, fuck it, I'm gonna need some for right now. I didn't wanna go spending on some that I didn't know about, so I went with these. Um, they're gonna fit perfectly with... Um
All right, so we finished the uh, fuel rail here, guys. You guys can see it looks really, really good. Fills really, really nicely with the black and the red from the injectors as well. Um, we also did this uh, little breather here and this uh, coolant temperature sensor here. And uh, look who showed up. He uh, got some wheels for his little truck and we're gonna polish these up, show you guys how ugly these look right now. He's starting the process already and look how ugly these things are right now. So, so we're gonna do right now He's rubbing the compound on right now. Look how dirty that was. Look that shit, fool. So, yeah, what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna get our little uh, polishing ball. He's putting on the compound right now. Right now. He's putting on the compound right now with the ball. We're just gonna go over it and hopefully get all that uh, compound off and polished up. So, um, hopefully it comes out good. We don't, we don't really know what we're doing, so if you're at home and you're saying we don't know how to do this, right? <laughs> we don't know how to do it. We're just like kind of going at it a little bit, so we're going to say fuck it. And uh, that thing stinks, huh? Fuck yeah. So we're going to go at this a little bit longer. He's going to show me a video on how to do it real fast. And we're going to try to go at all these, and we'll show you guys the end result. But um, that rail looking super, super clean. So once, he's, once we're done with those uh, wheels, or while he's finishing up uh, doing that, I'm going to be cleaning up this area over here and uh, making this look a lot nicer, look a lot better. Oh, look at this. You can see the shine already compared to over here. Look, watch. Look at this. And then look at this. So I guess he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, we're going to keep going at this for a little while. All right, after calls. a quick little uh, sesh, look how that turns out so far. <laughs> and look at this. Look how ugly that is compared to that. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Turned out hella good, huh? <laughs> Did not expect it to come out that good because we don't know what, what we're doing at all. But it's coming out alright, so I guess we're doing something right. So I'm going to finish all these wheels, show you guys the finished product, completely finished. We're not going to make it look perfect, but I'm um, just going to make it look a little bit better. So he can mount some tires on there and get them uh, installed on the truck. So wish us luck. Cal is finally polishing up the last one. We're gonna do a second uh, round on this, but um, we're thinking about just sanding the whole wheel before uh, we do another polish. But right now, it's looking already a lot shinier than before. All four are done. That's the last one, like I said. And uh, I don't know, up to him if he wants to sand them down, and then we'll give him a good polish after, and they should look a lot better. But for right now, they look fucking good, super good. Sure they look a lot better, huh? Okay. I mean, yes they do. Hey, Marco. Yes they do. <laughs> All right, so completely finished up the motor already. Um, you guys know we did the uh, fuel rail, and now we're gonna put the last piece of the puzzle, which is gonna be. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second. But um, we got the motor mounts completely installed as well. Everything is just hand tightened for right now. And we got our um, very own casting couch over here. We got Frankie and uh, Cal over here. So what would you guys like to tell the audience? Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you guys from? Um, from Kiron. Yeah. From Kiron and Kalinga. So um, what do you guys do for a living right now? Fucking nothing. Just my Oh, what I do for a living? Yeah. You suck dick for a living? <laughs> Can I serve yours? Um, I'm down. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> if you're down, man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, we're gonna install the last piece of the puzzle right now, and you guys already know, downstart everything. So, um, we're gonna pull this out real fast. I'll uh, show you guys what it is. But um, if you guys can guess down below what it is, go ahead. Last piece of the puzzle is gonna be our uh, header. So um, we went with the PLM header uh, for the K20. For the it's the V2. And uh, we're gonna show you guys what that looks like in just one sec, but um, let me pull this uh, box out. We're trying to make more room in the garage, that's why we're throwing the header on right now, and also to see how it looks, and also for uh, more content. So um, let's get this thing uh, completely pulled out of the box, and we'll install it, see how this thing turns out. All right, who wants to help me pull this out? I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out. Now I'll pull it out. I'm gonna pull it out. Come help me pull it out. Let me see. Pull it out for me. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> All right, so help me actually though. Help me actually pull this out. So they're gonna help me do it because I'm gonna hold the camera for them. Just be careful so that way we don't scratch anything though, guys. Please. Oh shit. Oh, there's two. Yeah, there's two pieces. And there's some hardware in there también and the uh, um, flange. You guys should just set them down on the side and get the hardware. So we got the uh, header flange here or 
gasket and then we got a little whatever that's called i think that was it Woo! let's throw this to the side a ver, a ver. I throw it that way, Cal. All right, so. You take it off from here or just do it like that? Yeah, pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. <laughs> like this is the one there. Not the other, the other way. You gonna go turbo step or? I wish. Is it gonna go top of the Yeah, just watch out, watch out with the mount. It'll go under a little bit. So this is a two piece. And uh, it comes with its own hardware already for the uh, other side, which is going to be the part that mounts onto the head. And uh, we're going to set these aside real quick, get everything um, mounted up or bolted up and see how this turns out. Alright guys, header install is completely done. Shout out to my boys, Frankie and Cal over here for hooking me up. They helped me put this thing completely on. Um, it's mounted. We had a tough time actually putting the uh, white pipe onto the rest of the uh, header. Could not get it on, so um, we kind of spit on it a little bit, got it to um, loosen up a little bit and got the header completely installed, tightened it up, and we're good. We installed it onto the head and uh, she's looking super, <laughs> and she's looking super, super good. Um, other than that guys, that's gonna wrap it up for um, for the motor videos we're completely done with the motor now all we have to do is tighten up all the bolts and uh i have some like little issues like little spots that i did not like about this and uh frankie's bitch ass pointed them out but <laughs> um like the alternator right here i don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of like gray instead of black so we're gonna have to redo this and uh, get some black paint on there as well and then all these pulleys we're probably gonna um, get them off again and degrease them um we still have to pull this one off here and get it uh, degreased and painted and also the um so the timing cover so um once that's all done it should look a lot better but for right now what you're seeing is a complete motor um it took some time had all the boxes here but i just want to make a lot of content for you guys so i'm hoping that you guys are enjoying it and if you are hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new and comment down below what you guys think of the motor so far this is it like i said for this for the motor installs um next we're gonna start working on the uh, hatch hopefully get it done hopefully uh frankie and cal want to come out and help me sand it get some welding done and uh get this thing underway so we can have this thing on the road as soon as possible but like i said um i'm gonna wrap it up i'll catch you guys next time peace